Suspense. Tonight, Autolite brings you the story of a woman who holds death over her husband's head when the bow breaks. Starring Miss Rosalind Russell. I remember when I was little. I remember you used to swing me in the garden. And the big maple tree and the rusty squeak as I went up and down. Up and down. Grandfather, don't let me fall. I want you to hold me like you used to when I was hurt. I'm afraid because I'm dying. Just the way you died, Grandfather. And why should I die? How did it all happen? This is it, baby. Oh, it looks very nice. Oh, oh, Harry, please be careful of my coat. You're dragging it there oh, on the ground. I'm sorry, Ev. Here, you, you hold it while I get the key out. I'll get the suitcases later. Now, wait a minute, baby. Let's do this right. Oh, oh Harry, put me down. People are watching. Now, let them They'll watch. Buy... We're married. This is the way it's done. Oh, you've got a lot to learn. All right, now. Put me down, Harry. Please. Harry, I asked you to put me down. Will you please Baby, put me... Baby, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sweet. I, I'm tired. I, I didn't mean to be angry. I'm tired, that's all. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, you like it? Oh, it's a very nice house, dear. I, I'm sure we'll be comfortable. Not bad for a short order deal. Take a look around. Here, open this door. It's a closet. Yeah, it's not bad, eh? They're all like that. Lots of room. Living room, dining room through here, kitchen. Harry, please... Can I sit down for a minute? My head's splitting. Yeah, sure, baby, sure. On the sofa, huh? That's not bad, huh? Come on now. Off with the shoes. Oh. Come on, put your feet up. Oh, thank you, dear. It, it all looks very nice. You must have spent a lot of money, though. Ah, money, it... nothing. As soon as the probate judge turns the real money loose, we'll get something that'll knock your eye out. I don't want to talk about that, Harry. I don't want to even think about it. Never again. No, of course not, baby. What's the matter with me? Of course you don't. I don't want to think about it, Grandfather. But I have to talk about it to you. There'll be the lawyers to pay and the inheritance tax. I never realized how very much you were worth. But you never spoke much about money. It was always there ever since I can remember. Funny. I never thought about it and... Until after you'd gone. Harry did, though. I lied to you about Harry. I'm sorry I didn't meet him the way I said. I... I picked him up, Grandfather, on the beach. I went looking for a man, and I found him. The men you chose for me were so weak. I wanted someone like you, like Harry. It wasn't respectable of a woman in her late thirties to do that, was it? I'm sorry. Well, honey, I guess you didn't know that I had a feel for interior decorating, did you? No, no, I didn't. Maybe when we get the dough, I can... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, baby. I, I was figuring maybe I'd go in the business. Harry, how did you know they'd let me go? How did you know all this wouldn't be wasted? Or or maybe you'd be here with another girl. You're the girl, Mousy. Only you. Besides, they couldn't have pinned it on you. Why, I watched that jury. You're high class. They believed you. Yesterday. I didn't think I'd be married now and in a new house. I thought I... Oh, forget it. You've been acquitted and that's it. From here on in... We... Harry! Baby, baby, you're jumpy. Yes, I'm jumpy. Harry... Relax. Married couples have callers. It's probably the next door neighbors. You stay right here. I'll get rid of them. Harry Stryker. Fancy meeting you here. What do you want, Corcoran? <laughs> he doesn't say glad to see. He doesn't say come in and have a drink. All he says is, what do you want, Corcoran? We're busy. No statements. No statements? You just got married, didn't you? You moved into a new house. Your wife beat a murder rap yesterday. No statement? <laughs> Your news. Harry, make him go away. 
Harry, please. Mrs. Stryker, well, well, congratulations on all counts. Marriage, <coughs> murder, and money. All right, Corcoran, out. Are you kidding? <laughs> you and Evie are good for five or six more front pages. Hmm. You're my babies, my story of the year. I'm going to bounce you. You can beat me to it by walking out, but fast. Why don't you leave us alone? The trial is over. The state is finished with us. Why can't you be... Finished, Evie? You were acquitted, if that's what you mean. You can never be tried again for the same murder. And please... Not even if you said to me it might amuse your readers to know, Mr. Corcoran, that I really did murder my grandfather. They can't touch you. I'm going to work you over, boy, so that you'll never chew a steak again. I wouldn't. Then get out. Okay. But first I came here to tell you something. Evie, go in the next room. No, no. What do you want, Mr. Corcoran? Oh, nothing much, Mrs. Stryker. I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to do a Sunday feature on you. I'm going to call it She Has Him in the Palm of Her Hand. No, no. Forget about us, please. Harry, give him some money. Tell him to stop. <laughs> you couldn't pay me enough, Evie. The story of why you hold this guy's life in your hands is too good. What do you mean by that, Crack? I knew your wife would beat the case of him, and I laid eyes on her, Harry. <laughs> that holier-than-thou look, grandfather known by one and all to be a wretched old man, Myerson as a lawyer... Since. You've written about those things, Mr. Corcoran. Don't you think that after uh, all... Wait the public... a minute. I'm leading up to it. The autopsy showed your grandfather had a disease. It would have killed him anyway in a few more months. So, verdict, well, suicide. Why can't you understand that suicide? He knew. He knew he was going to die. I don't buy it. But I buy this. Harry, you were never brought to trial because they couldn't tie you into it. You had an alibi for the night the old man drank that poison. Yeah, I wasn't there. Uh, the DA I... knew that you're a photographer. Among other things. And had access to cyanide, but he couldn't hang anything on you. So you weren't tried for murder. She was. She can't be again. Not for that one. Harry, I'm tired of this. Mr. Cochran is trying to frighten us, that's all. Will you ask him to leave? Now, hold it, baby. Go on, Cochran, get to the point. Sure. Well, like I say, you weren't indicted. But you could be. If your wife talked. Talked? But there's nothing for me to talk about. What, what, what could I say? You could say that Harry got the cyanide for you and you worked it out together to get the old man's money. Then they'd try Harry, not you, Evie, because you can acquit him. I won't listen. I won't. Okay, okay. So long, Cochran. Sure. <laughs> Don't get sore. If you didn't do it, you haven't got a thing to worry about, Harry. But if you did, you better be nice to Mrs. Stryker because maybe someday she'll get mad. And if she talks, it's bye-bye, Harry. So long, Cochran. <laughs> You got him in the palm of your hand, Evie. Remember, they can't touch you for it. When Harry came back from the door, I knew what he was thinking. What that horrible newspaper reporter had said. He wouldn't look at me. He just went to a table and poured a drink. I was afraid of him. I wanted him to hold me and tell me it was all right. Like you used to. But he didn't. And then I wanted to run away. Anywhere. Get on a boat. Fly. Never see Harry Stryker again. Run, run, run. Where are you going, baby? Well, I... I, I need some air. I thought I'd now, go Don't out. be silly. You don't want to go out there. Corcoran's probably still hanging around. Harry. Harry. What? What is it, Mousy? Harry, it's all right, isn't it? I mean, you don't believe what he said. No, of course not. He's a snooper, that's all. It wasn't the money, was it, Harry? You didn't want me just because of the money. Now, baby, I'm don't... not pretty. I'm not clever. You don't love me, do you? Why should I attract a man like you? It was the money, wasn't it? You're it upset, baby. It? Look, go lie down, will you? It's okay. Everything's okay. Say it. Say you love me. You never have. Please. Harry. Harry, look at me. Tell me you think I'm pretty. Harry. Say nice things to me. Tell me you love me. Harry, Keep please. your voice down. Corcoran's still outside. He's listening. That was it then. All the time. That's all you cared about, the money. It's never been me. All I wanted was to love you and to have you and to be... I'll, I'll get you. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Oh, I wish I were dead. I wish I'd told them the truth. I should have said, I'm guilty. We're both guilty. Harry and I did it. We murdered him. We murdered Grandfather. <laughs> Baby... Don't ever say that again, not even to yourself. Don't even think it. 